sound is created by the vibrating of particles that are existing as a solid liquid or gas and if you measure the speed of displacement of the particles you'll be able to tell what frequency the sound has we perceive different frequencies as different tones and pitches up to a certain limit beyond which our hearing fails the frequencies we hear are split into 12 notes that repeat from C to B forming the pitch scales naturally occurring sounds are made from many sine waves each with a different frequency amplitude and phase this means different instruments won't tend to sound the same even if you're matching up the notes that are being played but if a song has many sounds with the same frequencies the frequencies can clash and overcrowd the song severely so to make sure all parts of the song are heard clearly equalization helps to distribute them fairly naturally occurring sounds are like analog signals we can make them digital through mics and audio cables it's an AD converter that converts analog to digital by sampling the analog signals at discrete intervals the sample rate or number of intervals in a second is giving us a frequency in hertz check the legends the y-axis splits the signals volume into sections determined by how many bits are used in quantization cds work at 16 bits and 44.1 kilohertz storing sounds from computers or even concerts but we can't hear in digital so first we must convert the information back to analog which ears prefer samplers record store and manipulate sound and were a major part of hip-hop as it gathered its ground and when computers improve they helped in pushing out the bounds allowing graphic editing where more precision could be found Well explained all Kaipa. Tell them about synthesis and MIDI. Synthesizers generate tones from scratch for making music These tones are altered by the synth parameters you're using The oscillator is the parameter that makes the tones Where their shape and then their pitch can be adjusted as shown An amplitude envelope gives a shape onto a sound wave And an envelope can shape a filter in the same way Hear how a piano and violin are not the same You can hear in the attack and how the sound dies away You can change the sound some more by filtering the frequencies That are present in the tone to alter how the sound will be Low pass and high pass are two of the filter types that can modify the tone until it's sounding right if you like your bass lines then you need some lfo where the oscillator is filtered so the frequencies are low wobble in bass with lfo you can alter the speed of the wobble in the bass demonstrated by mr reed music software and instruments can communicate by using a piece of equipment called a midi interface using midi language instruments can link in many ways so nowadays non-musicians can still make music anyway midi carries data of a musical performance within a stream of 8 bits that are carried in installments you can build a personal project studio with the midi instruments which can be small and electrical but still cost effective implements midi has enhanced the many techniques of production and became a driving force for new musical innovation new genres functioning through electronic devices like the drum machine the sampler the keyboards and synthesizers now sequences are normally located on computers if you're a cubase a reason or pro tools user in the virtual studio making the sounds of the future midi lets you link your software to a hardware control Controller. Yes, Mr. Reed. So I've explained the basic properties of sound, digital audio, synthesis and MIDI. Is there anything else? Tell them about reverbs and delays. Alright, no problem. Now I'm gonna talk a little bit about the physics of sound that surrounds natural acoustics. How reverbs and echoes produced in nature get reproduced in music. It's the digital signal processing effects you'll be using. Make unrealistic or real life acoustics suit any surroundings of your choosing. In particular, check the reverb for making ambience. That's the word as sound gets reflected or absorbed. You can observe a change in the way it's heard. It's direct sound when it first occurs. And early reflections are what first returns. They become reverberations where individual waves can't be discerned. So let's alter the reverb parameters for developing the right ambience, changing the levels of early reflections and setting the reverb to the right balance. It's also a challenge to choose a decay that matches the space it occupies. So a bigger place should have a bigger decay time that's coordinated with the room size. When the reflecting surface is far, like up in the cave and you're shouting hello, the gap in reflections is more apart. So you hear a delay which you call an echo. Delays can give illusions of the movement of any sound's location because human hearing has evolved to identify sound's direction. 